Okay. Are we ready? For some good old Schmashovania? Or how about FIFA 23 play the World Cup? I feel like PlayStation has no idea what I play on my PlayStation. Is this Genshin? Is this Genshin? I think that was Genshin. This is going to sound really weird. I would play Genshin if it was a game that cost money. This is the Castlevania with the quote, yes, if this wasn't the updated translation. We're going to play in English. I, I wish I could choose... I wish there was three options here. I wish there was English, Japanese, and Old English. Because it would... It would be a funny joke. But it would also, um... You know, be, be the perfect way to reference the original English dub. Those... Those... The, the one change I made took, right? Yeah, okay. Anyway... Here we go. We did Rondo of Blood not too long ago. And now it's time to do Symphony of the Night. And this does have a plethora of RPG elements. So it for, it fits the bill for Monday in my book. Alright, let me delete whatever saves I have, because... Uh... <laughs> I, I played this game for 5 hours and 46 minutes and 36 seconds off stream, I'll, however long ago this save file is from, and I managed to achieve 118.4% completion, so, I mean, you tell me uh, who the gamer is. You tell me. It seems that October means Konami Takeover. Journey back to 19 1792 and the Transylvanian countryside of Romania. I love this early, mid-90s CG. Here it is. The final stage of Rondo of Blood. I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah. 
So, I know I showed this off when I finished Rondo, but this is a fun way to, to jump into the next game. First of all, it's a, it's a, you know, it, it's like a quick graphical showcase. It's like, look how much better this looks on PS1 than it did on, on the, the PC-88. Dracula, die now and leave this world. You'll never belong here. Oh. But this world invited me. Your own kind called me forth with praise and tribute. Tribute? You're a thief. You steal men's souls, their freedom. Freedom is always sacrificed to faith, good hunter. Or are you truly here by choice? All I'm here for is you. To hell with your heresy! You're nothing but a blight on mankind. Ha! Mankind. A cesspit of hatred and lies. Fight for them, and die for their sins! Now, the new dialogue is awesome. But the old dialogue was deliciously cheesy. <laughs> Let's see if I can beat Dracula without dying. I, I'm all practice up from Rondo. Forgot about that attack. I love how even Rondo's UI is preserved. And it says we have zero lives because they knew how bitch hard this game was. That might be my favorite bit of this whole flashback sequence is that you have zero lives. They knew. <laughs> they knew. We've been reading your memory card, Alec uh, Richter. God damn it. How many times have we done this little dance, Dracula? Dracula thinks he's the funniest guy in the room. It is amazing how tight they got this to feel. Like the way you just barely clear those three fireballs. It's it's it feels identical to playing the original until you start using the new the new tricks that were added. But if you stick to the vanilla move set, it just looks like a nicer it it, it play the play feel is identical. Oh, fuck you, dude. I was looking at the background. Fuck. 
It's okay, Maria. If only this happened in the in Rondo. If only you could have saved me like that in Rondo, Maria. And then it burns away as a photograph. Just a distant memory. Count Dracula had risen with the aid of the Dark Priest Shaft. Shaft. Humanity once again. The legendary vampire hunter, Richter Belmont, stood against him and at last brought him down. However, four years later, on a glaring full moon night, Richter mysteriously vanished. Maria Renard set out to find him, but knew not where to begin. It was then that fate intervened. Castlevania, the castle of Dracula, rumored to appear once every century, suddenly materialized from the mist, as if to show her the way. Meanwhile, powerful forces struggled for the soul of a man named Alucard. He who had once fought alongside Trevor Belmont against his own immortal father, Count Dracula himself. To purge the world of his own cursed bloodline, Alucard had submerged his vampiric powers and fallen into what was meant to be eternal slumber. But now, he awakens to the cackles of evil and cries of the innocent. The eternal battle of good and evil has come full circle once more. Dracula's castle beckons for you. And no man can say who will emerge victorious. For the time period that this game came out, excellent presentation. Some fun Castlevania trivia to get us started. In later games in the series, uh, we actually... The Belmonts end up meeting the Morrises. Um, and if Morris sounds familiar, it's because I'm talking about the descendants of... Uh, what was his name? Jonathan Morris? name in in uh in dracula the dracula the storybook there about dracula quincy morris sorry uh so later on in the castlevania story the the belmonts and the morrises become allies Quincy, uh, Quincy, I, I don't remember. <laughs> it's been too long now. I just remember there being a, a main character with the last name Morris. Isn't Qu Quincy is the, the doctor, dude. Hold on. No, you're right. That's that's God damn it. Uh rich young American from Texas and one of the three men who propose Yes, you're right. He is one of the three suitors. Uh 
Um, so the Belmonts become friends with the Morrises. Sort of. Anyway, let's let's kill some classic movie monsters and listen to some good music. Now, I've never beat this game. I've played... I've played a good... Well, Jesus. I've played a good five hours of it, as you saw. Uh, and... Didn't progress past that. I don't know how this game ends. I... Yeah. This is going to be a fairly vanilla blind playthrough. Uh, saying that... My first attempt at playing this game... I got lost and had no idea wh where to go or what to do. In the event that that happens, I am inclined to use a guide just to keep things going smoothly. Um, however, I did recently beat Bloodstained, which makes me feel like I might be able to do this. Yes, I've seen Hocus Pocus. Oh, so I missed Death's old voice. Ah, Master Alucard! What are you doing about in the castle? It just... I wish I could just turn the voices off and voice act the game. <laughs> By the way, Death just was like, Hey, I don't really want you here. And took all of our stuff. I am now... I'm, now, I'm just punching now. I have seen Hocus Pocus a couple of times. Well, I don't know that I'll need a guide for sure. I'm just, you know, in the event that I... Uh... Get lost, I may... I may end up pulling up a guide. Because, you know, like a like a Metroid game... I mean, this, this and Metroid... These, th this game and, and the Metroid games coined the phrase Metroidvania. And in that style, uh, you explore a lot of areas and you encounter a lot of things that you can't interact with yet. Because you just don't have the right power-ups, you don't have the right items. It's hard to keep track of all of the things you've come across in your journey when you do have the right items and right abilities. You have to keep, like, a quest journal and just write, write shit down in it. Alright, he just dropped a weapon, Red Rust. It's stronger than my swords, short sword, but it's, it's slower. So, one thing you have to keep in mind when playing this game is that weapons do different amounts of damage, of course, but they, they, some of them are quicker or slower. You have to find what, you have to find what fits your style. I beat Bloodstained relying on heavy, strong weapons, and I basically just... I made every hit count. It might as well be. It's like, you, you need to, like, have a, a pen and paper map of this game. So you can write down, you can, like, leave notes for yourself. Now, here's something that disheartened me a long time ago. Um... I beat Castlevania uh, Rondo of Blood relatively trouble-free. I mean, sure, it was hard, but I, I got through it on stream and off stream. However, I played this game after having played that one off stream. And I remember thinking parts of this were quite hard. And then I was looking online about this game and, and people saying that this is one of the easiest Castlevanias. And, you know, 
I was like, all right, I guess. The internet said it, it must be true. Fuck, I, look, I'm about to die and we've just got started. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm gonna equip that shield I, I just got. I don't know if it's any good for anything, but there we go. And we're gonna go back to the save room so we can heal. any classic RPG, you can grind for levels in this game. If you're not strong enough to beat a boss, it, you know, it could be that you're just not using the right tactics, or it could be that you just need to level up a few times. <laughs> Plus, um, you can grind for experience points, of course. But there are, there are also, to my knowledge, enemies with really rare drops. Like good weapons, good armor, stuff like that. With like a 2-3% chance of dropping it. Shit like that. Like, Iga, Igarashi loves to do stuff like that with his, his entries in this series. Uh, I picked up I picked up a relic. What does this do? Causes items to materialize. What an amazing relic to get. The first relic you get is now enemies can drop items. So once you first when you when you first arrive at Dracula's castle in this game, enemies don't even drop shit. Until you got the cube of Zoe. Hello evil, welcome. randomized? No. This is not randomized. This is... because I've never beaten this game. This is a vanilla playthrough. Randomizers are cool, but I I'm not gonna randomize a game I've never beaten. Speaking of randomizers though, I am tempted to check out the Resident Evil 4 randomizer. I mean using a randomizer for a vanilla playthrough would kind of ruin the experience. What's the point of it being randomized if you don't know where anything is anyway? I know you are. I'm aware, I can tell, it's just... I feel like there are people out there who would do that legitimately and not even think about it. This is as randomized as it's gonna get. I have no idea where anything is. Get ganked, dude. This is a harder game than Final Fantasy XV. I don't like the Zelda 2 axe guys. Yeah, 
you know what I will say about this game? It, this is a better Zelda 2 than Zelda 2. Oh good, I'm poisoned. Die! Well, here's hoping we find a save room soon. Don't let these guys drip on you. Here we go. So, I, I mean, I, we're mapping out the area as we explore, but there's almost no point at even looking at the map right now. Considering, uh, you know, we could, we could sneeze in any general direction and it would be somewhere new. Also, there are secrets in this game that I'm aware of from Oz through osmosis. That are the kind of secrets you'd only find with a game guide. Oh, listen to that boss theme. There, there's a, a part in the anime where these two show up, and that I thought I love that part. Oh fuck! It's really easy to take damage in this game. Jesus. Alright, that's 50% of this boss battle done. Hey, you know what? I put the shield to good use. Turns out it works for the little ones. I, don't, I doubt it works for those big ones. Fuck. Oh, it does. It does. Just use the shield, dumbass. All right, I'm going to try again, but with the, with using the shield. But yeah, uh, this is this is the I guess this is the second part of the Konami takeover of the stream during October.
<laughs> okay. Alright. That was a good animation. You got a nose like Dream's chin. Jesus. My shield. It's okay, I have infinite leather shields. Jesus. Alright. Barely got him. I'm gonna describe low level a Alucard like this. The dude moves like he's got a turtle head poking out. Don't I have like a dash? A dash back? I can. Yeah, there we go. That's the closest we got to a dodge. I. I should try to employ that. Walking like he's trying to get out of the McDonald's play place without shitting in the ball pit. Alright, there's an item over there. No clue how to get it. But that's that's what I mean. Uh I'm sure there's a solution that we'll, we'll come across later on when we have more abilities. I mean, Alucard might not be a Belmont. And he, he isn't a Belmont, but he sure does have the walk down. Sorry, what is this? Oh, you know, just salt. The salt weapon. My favorite. Got him. Alright, salt's kind of badass. Don't diss the salt. Dracula employs a low-sodium diet for his minions. More good music. That salt attack kind of makes me feel like I'm sneezing on them.
Listen to that marble gallery theme. No, I want my salt, man. Stop trying to give me other weapons. Watch out for the cursed end table. That demon got the short end of a stick. Next, we're going to be fighting a possessed Easy Bake Oven. You know, Easy Bake Oven is cute and all, but I, I I watched somebody use one recently, and they were going through all of the instructions, like, do not use without adult supervision and all this mumbo jumbo, right? Which, you know, how many, how many parents actually cared? But at that point, wouldn't it be easier to just, you know, like, use your oven and, like, make some baked goods with your kid in your oven? Your, your, the oven, the oven that probably was in your house 40 years before you bought your house. Yeah, but, but you can't call the easy bake oven the babysitter because it requires adult supervision. Damn, dude, that guy had a sodium allergy. I'm very passionate about some things, all right? And the Easy Bake Oven being pointless is something that I will preach about until I die. When I was like eight, I made a batch of banana bread in my parents' oven. Alone, without adult supervision. Adults were in the house. So, I mean, if something went horribly wrong, that I mean... I wouldn't have been houseless or lifeless. Obtained spirit orb. Shows enemy damage. I would have gone down with the banana bread. I might have if I was alone. That relic now makes it so that our damage numbers are on screen. To, I like how our first two relics have been, like, UI. Here, have some UI elements as unlockables. I'm surprised it starts you with a map at all. Watch out for this guy's big ball. Dude dropped 25 bucks, holy shit. 20 whole dollars? Yeah. 
When I hit walls sometimes, I'm just looking for secrets. So far, it has yielded no results. Oh, look, it's it's these things. Get away from me. Give me that. Give me that. 50 bucks. That displays enemy health. I don't think you ever get the ability to see enemy health. Maybe you do. I don't know. I've... I've not beat the game. I've only 118% of it. It's just to make you feel good. It, it's for those people who like, who, who get all of their video game enjoyment simply from number go up. What it is good for, actually, and this is me being completely honest here. Some wep some enemies are affected by different weapon types. Even if one weapon does less damage than another, it might do more damage to specific enemies. That number is your indication. What the fuck? Don't go down there. That dude just one two shoe niced me. Man, Alucard is such a badass, and already he has met two very random and unfitting ends. All because Grandpa Death took all his stuff away. You could have at least sent me to my room. All right, we're not going. We're not going down. No, give me my salt back. We're not going down. This is the one time we say no to going down. This is Alucard, this is not a Belmont. Uh, this is, um, specifically Dracula's son. Who was once Wait. allied. Are you human? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm to destroy this castle. Likewise. I'm Maria. And you are? Alucard. Well, if you're a better swordsman than a speaker, perhaps I'll see you again. Farewell. Guys, that was Maria from Rondo of Blood. The the small girl who kicked Death's ass. At, ass! The, the small girl who kicked Death's ass. Anyway, uh, like a hundred years ago, this Alucard dude here, um, was allied with Trevor Belmont in Castlevania 3. Actually, you know what? I have some, I have some, some backstory I'll show off real quick for, uh, events that preceded this game and Rondo of Blood. Dracula, in the name of my mother, I will defeat you again. All right, vampires rule. Whoa, cool it, Dad, dude. You're wrinkling the cape. Now is the time to put aside your weak human side and join me in remaking this world. You have been doomed ever since you lost the ability to love. <gasps> Is that all you have to say for yourself? You are a disgrace. Out of my castle, you deadbeat! 
Go back whence you came. Trouble the soul of my mother no more. Meanwhile. That was from the Captain N TV show. With some dialogue from the original dub of this game. Whoa, dad dude. Imagine if Alucard talked like that in this game. Hey, flea man, leave me alone. I can assure you that I do not look good with blonde hair. Mega Man sounded like this, though. Mega. Got him with the snot rocket. Oh, all right, the Bible. Sorry, but sorry, Salt, but I just found the good book. It's a good thing Alucard's quest is one of just because uh, I imagine he would burst into flames otherwise upon touching such a holy. Relic. Yes, he did, and his name was Kid Icarus, not It. Which is just incredible. Why does this monster have a have a, a very uh, well endowed character? on its tail. Something to fight for. Alucard's a vampire. He's bisexual. He has enough to fight for. Metal Gear has led me to believe that vampires and bisexuals are one and the same. No, I don't want to be stoned. Jesus, I don't have any golden needles on me. Leave me alone. Do you know how to use a, a Bible? You don't typically just smack things with it. I And if you've forgotten, which is very realistically the case, the Metal Gear reference I'm making is to the dialogue about Vamp and why he's called Vamp. And Snake explaining to Raiden. Raiden. His codename's Vamp, because he's a bisexual. 
canon canon dialogue from the game. Please, I Medusa heads might be the worst thing ever uh, crafted by a human. This motherfucker lives under Dracula's castle, just like, dangling. Whoever lives in this little shack, this crack shack... I really need to heal. Also, you have to equip an item onto your hand to use it. I need a I need a better weapon. The short sword's great, but it doesn't do enough damage. Let's give Red Rust a try. It's the only other weapon I have right now. What the fuck? Alucard just like froze up. I need to get to a save room. It's been forever since I've encountered one. What are you doing, Alucard? I'm taking Red Rust off. It's like it's having an adverse effect on my character. Are vampires allergic to rust? Dante, Jesus. Why is this not a save room? I think this is a, a secret room, though. Maybe. Maybe not. I guess it's just my imagination. What this this is watch the stream where Adam uses every healing item he gets. Just because he got the shit kicked out of him by some Medusa heads. And a dude with a sword. Okay, someday I'll have my revenge. This is what I get for giving up my sodium addiction for religion. We're gonna uh, need to do some leveling up, or like find. I, I need the. I need a new weapon. That's what I need. 
And some armor. Uh, I have armor. I have armor that I haven't been wearing. This does nothing. It's salable. As in, its only purpose in the game is to be sold. That's a boss room up there. I'm not going through there yet. Let's... Oh, I hate to say it. Let's grind some levels, gang. question is, do I want to be over here already? See, here's the thing with this game. This is a pro and a con. You are allowed to just explore freely. And, but am I smart enough to know when I'm in the wrong area? You know what? I'm sorry. Bible. Um, I'm grabbing that axe. Which is more likely to get you laid? Axe or religion? A whole bottle of Axe and no less. Because I've never met someone who wears Axe who couldn't put less than a whole bottle on. This game's pixel art goes hard. Another level up. Level up. That is the, you know, that is one, one, one pro to exploring and re-exploring. You are constantly going to be gaining experience points. Alright, uh, let's, let's not go all the way right yet. Let's check out this area a bit more. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we encountered a door we cannot open yet. Sealed by some contraption. This is Dark Souls. I'm, I'm converted. I don't want the Bible anymore. Okay, well, I very quickly ran out of options for ways to go. I can go down to where the guy one hit me. Or I can go... This way, again. It looks like we're going back to the outer wall.
All I'm saying is be prepared for this. Be prepared for lots of exploring and re-exploring. I'm only going to use a guide if I get lost. I do like the way things just explode when they die. It's like a Michael Bay movie. Um, I'm right there with you, Sky. I am right there with you. I, uh, the last Michael Bay movie I tried to watch was, I think it's called Six Underground or something like that on Netflix. And I, I, I think I made it 20 minutes or less. Something, like, this This is a weird memory, and now I need to confirm this. But one of the Transformers movies... Uh... With, uh, Mark Wahlberg. The, the one with Mark Wahlberg in it. Which one was that? Age of Extinction? I d it did not I did not dream this up. This is a this is something I actually genuinely remembered. That movie has three different aspect ratios that it switches between while you're watching it. I had to Google it to confirm that it wasn't just me misremembering. Which gives it the presentation of... You know how a video game will... F some video games will fill your f screen while you're playing and then letterbox during cutscenes? It felt like that. Already we're fighting Phantom Alucard. And he is fast as fuck.
As far as I know, this is boss two. And people tell me this is the easiest Castlevania game. I don't think I believe them. As far as I can tell, though, there's not really anywhere else to explore, so... Let's just <laughs> do some grinding, I guess. I'm just gonna kill these two axe dudes. Well, let me see how much experience points they give. Next, 193. Alright. So what happened to my damage numbers? Did I die and lose that? Oh, it's because I picked it up in that area where I went down and got one hit. It just took me this long to notice. I'll go pick it up again when I make my way back there. But yeah, unfortunately, if you're expecting a pro playthrough of this game, that's not what you're going to get watching me play it. 43. Okay, we're, le we're leveling up quick with these guys right now. You know, one thing I want to point out, not that I really have to point it out, but look how many frames of animation there are just in Alucard's cape. And Alucard's outfit can change colors to reflect equipped items. It's so nice to see what pixel art was capable of on, you know, just because the PS1 could do 3D didn't mean you had to use it for that. Alright, I'm going to level up one more time off these guys. So look at Alucard's long hair. 
those locks. Alright, let's not die, please. window color. Fourteen, we're getting there. If you have enough experience with this game, you know, like, right where all the all the good items are and things like that. I can understand saying the game isn't all that hard. But from the perspective of having never beaten it and definitely not knowing where everything is... This, this feels like a, a pretty difficult beginning. Let's give, uh, other Alucard uh, another shot. He's just so fast. Corner me. I got him. Jeez. 
Jesus. The game could the game probably wouldn't be hard if I could play as well as he could. But he's dead. I guess that's true, yeah. I feel like I won basically through Rock'em Sock'em Robots, though. Well, on, on to more adventures, I guess. More areas to explore. Gladius. Sword of Ancient Rome. Thanks. You you can tell because it's 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 girthier and longer. That looped me back down here. If there was such a thing as a god, I don't think he'd let allow a vile creature like Dracula to run amok. Now, can I make this jump? Because it feels like I can't. My head hits the ceiling and then I drop like a brick. I thought you could open that, but I guess not. I wonder if you get a dash ability. I, I can neither confirm nor deny. I can say that you get something akin to a dash. Dude had one fucking job, and it was to throw a barrel at me, and he managed to throw it up here. Yeah, he was not ready for Donkey Kong. I, and then we have these musket men up here. Well, not muskets, but riflemen. Shooting those rifles way too damn fast. I must say. How are they, how are they reloading so fast? Please. I remember this guy. I actually, I remember this guy from Rondo. Why does he have infinite health? That's, that's a noise a lot of enemies in Bloodstained made when they died. I kind of miss it. Oh, there's something cool up there and I can't get it. Elevator activated. 
I, I'm glad they told me what they did. They could have just been like, nah, dude, figure it out. <laughs> figure it out, bitch. You hit a lever. You hit a lever and you might not like the results. But it was down... Oh. Yeah, this is safe. Obtained Soul of Wolf. Here's the wolf, and this is the dash. Unfortunately, it requires you to use your magic. And all you can do as a wolf is bark. Even though you have a sword, or what looks like a sword, you, you can't wield it. And also, why- like, this- this doesn't look like a wolf, but it, that's okay. All that aside, wolf form unlocked. Woof. Meow. All right, I want to get this item up here that I couldn't get to. And then I'm going to see if I can't find a save room. Leave me alone. Or knock me into the item. That is... that's fine. At least I got something out of it. I... I'm guessing that's a line from Toy Story? I'm unfamiliar with it, Home Alone. Oh, okay. Sorry. I have not seen any of the Home Alone movies. I got- I grabbed- I grasped for straws there and saw the word Buzz, which could have been a name. And probably was a name. Look guys, we just unlocked fast travel. Now we can fast travel here and listen to good music. And save. All right, we're going to fast travel back to where we just were. Because I had the wolf form, but I don't think there's anywhere back here that I can access with it that I couldn't ac already access. I don't know. We'll find out. I, all I'm saying is I need to... I, I think I need to have more abilities before I start worrying about backtracking. Ah, uh, okay. How quaint. Long library. Why is it the long library, though?
I do like the music, though. This is the next area we're going to explore. the long library because Dracula was compensating for something. It makes up for his short temper. Bronze Curious. Yay, I take a little bit less damage now. And then I get Rock'em Sock'em Roboted. Get me out of here. Okay. Uh, don't touch the miasma. No, it's it's a 3D enemy. That's never a good sign. Books, the mortal enemies of mankind. What kind of budget did they have on this game? Is that a sincere question? Uh, I don't know if the game had a, a big budget or not. What I do know is that there was some rushed development behind the scenes. So things that were planned were cut, but when is that ever unheard of? That, that, that seems to be the, the common occurrence with game development. Oh, you little fucker. Uh, I'm not sure what the budget for this game was. I I don't know if any I don't know if that's public knowledge. I'm sure there's an estimate out there. Twenty dollars and a pack of cigarettes. You have one month. It's been a long time, old one. Eh? Why, it's Master Alucard. Come to visit, have we? I need your help. Oh, but young master, I could never betray the good count. You won't go unrewarded. Really? In that case, just tell me what you need. Al or Alucard in this redo redub redub is being voice acted by Yosuke. Oh look, you want to know how to fight the bosses you've already beat? Here you go. How about this? Jesus Christ. All right, fuck it. Uh what how can I buy this? from you? I've got 3 grand, just a little over. Jewel of Open. Can open lock blue doors. <laughs> Thank you. Now I've got a reason to backtrack. Potion. I'm all set. Anti-venom. Hammer. Unpetrify. Familiar use only. I don't have a familiar yet. Magic mythal. Bwaka throwing knife. Library card. Enchanted library card. I'm gonna buy that. Thank you. Wait, I can buy more than one? Light Cavalry Sword. 
not bad, but it's two-handed. Mace. Iron Cudge. Uh, oh. Cudgel. For some reason, I thought that second L was, uh... Like a line. Like parentheses. Damascus Sword. Leather Shield. Iron Shield. Velvet Hat. Dude. I... I was gonna buy the velvet hat, but now I gotta buy the leather hat. <laughs> Thank you. We can buy Joseph's cloak. You know, the multicolored dream cl cloak. Select color system menu. It's 30,000 gold and you can change its color, you can customize its color. I forgot about that. Basic map of Dracula's castle? I'm sorry, but... <laughs> yes? Thank you. Magic scroll contains... Dark metamorphosis! <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, uh, if you've not played the original... That's basically how Alucard says dark metamorphosis. Dark Metamorphosis. Oh, you have to input a fucking... Konami... The, you have to do half of the Konami code to do this attack. Alright, hold on. What was it? It's... It's like half a circle... Plus square or circle. Do the thing. Dark metamorphosis. Dark metamorphosis. What does that do, though? I should heal so I don't die. Also, let's take a look at... Hey, wow. That that gave us a lot of map. Here is the map. Whoa. What are all these heads? Those are the faces of evil. You must defeat each. That guy sells good shit. That's what Alucard's gonna say to the next person he sees as he's, like, walking out of the library. Oh, by the way, did I, I didn't equip my hat. There we go. It's too bad it doesn't show up on Alucard. I do like the subtle transition the book takes from leaving the shelf. Because it, it looks like a sprite when it's sitting on there. Obtained fairy scroll. Hey. Plays enemy's name. Okay, thanks. One by one, I'm unlocking all of the skills that uh, Libra would give me. Or whatever that magic's called. Roto microtransactions. Buy the UI. DLC.
ectoplasm. Just like in the movie. You know what? Just get me, get me, get me out of here. God damn it! When you're cursed, you can't use your weapon. Say goodbye to all your items ever. I gotta remember I can do that. There. We're gonna re-explore here a bit, because I got the gem to open the blue doors. As well as Dark Metamorphosis, whatever that does. I think it just makes your attack stronger. It costs so little magic to use, though, so I don't know. It's also a pain in the ass to cast. It feels like I'm trying to cast magic for real. Dark Wait. Dark Metamorphosis heals you when you damage enemies or, or kill enemies. That's... handy. That's actually handy. It's when you damage them. No fucking shit. No wonder people say this game's easy. You just have to take the time to actually learn to use the magic. I'm trying to remember where we encountered a blue door. I know there was one not too far from here. Drinking their bloodish. Yeah, it kinda kinda is a bit like that, isn't it? Oh, uh they ha I I guess you're right, Sky, because skeletons it doesn't work on. They have to have blood. Okay, so this elevator goes up when something's stepping on that button. If I kill this this boner dude down here while he's standing over it, he'll keep it held down. But then it's stuck at the top. Yo. And I came on to a dead end with a basilar. Which I already have, and it's it's not it's not good. Cool. I'm glad my I'm glad my creativity got me nothing. Oh, uh.
the satisfaction of solving a puzzle. Yep. That's what it got me. Satisfied, for sure. You know what? It didn't satisfy me. It, it blew balls me, is what it did. Unfortunately, I'm not that flexible. Well, maybe not. Uh, maybe unfor maybe unfortunately is not the right choice of words there, but you know what I mean. cape. Well made, but shabby looking. Well, it's better than whatever I'm wearing right now. Ow. Look how much quicker these guys are dying now. It's so nice. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what that's what I meant by the uh, the color changing. Some not all equipment is reflected, but some of it is. And that's blue door number one. Thus we enter a new part of the castle that I probably shouldn't be in. Alucard, wasn't it? We meet again. So it seems. As friendly as ever, I see. It's strange. This castle's different than I remember it. This castle is a creature of chaos. With each rebirth, it takes a new form. And here I thought my mind was playing tricks. Well, this is Maria, more. Sky. This Tell is the girl again. who kicked Death's ass in, in my playthrough of uh, Rondo of Blood. She's older now. That was the daughter of Zelda and Link. In one of the timelines where Zelda and Link aren't brother and sister. What? Not the comment I was expecting. Not not from Sky, anyway. Yeah, that's promising. The amount of effort it took to kill this thing really makes me feel like I should be here. Corner guard. I'm glad this guy's duty of defending these stairs is so important that he is his title reflects it. You have been handcrafted for dealing with 45 degree angles. Yeah. 
You know what, whatever, dude. Oh, fuck. Let me uh, check something real quick. Run. Wolf, Wolf can't jump very well right now. That's too bad. Longest staircase in Castlevania history, by the way. Look at this fucking thing. Dark metamorphosis. I hope you have blood. You don't. Maybe that's why I never use Dark Metamorphosis, because it doesn't work on anything. Looks like a boss. Uh, if it was a boss, the doors would have closed. I think it's just a big magical sword. <clears throat> I mean, we did just see Zelda Link a second ago. Goggles. Comfortable eye protection. Well, uh, they give me two intelligence, but they drop my defense by one. Maybe. Maybe I'll put them on eventually. Spectral sword! How about no? Not right now. Not until I find a save spot. the vibe of this room. Can I can I do anything in here? How do I confess my sins? Why don't you take a seat? Oh. That, those were the magic words. I don't trust him. You motherfucker. I'm getting that. I'm getting that bastard. You have to time it just right, I guess. Or maybe, maybe you can't. Maybe it's just a trap. It's just, a, it's, I, apparently it's just a booby trap.
Worst truck stop bathroom I've ever been to. Thanks. Don't, don't do it. I'm, I'm delicate right now. I, I, I need a save room. I'd say I need a young priest and an old priest, but I think I just encountered an old priest and he tried to kill me. Hey, there we go, free heal. Walking upstairs has never been so hard. Silver plate. We're getting stronger all the time. No, not even a little bit, because this is considerably easy to platform in. Game's really trying to force religion on me. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Dude, would you just... Thank you. Alucard, cast your magic. Cast your goddamn magic, dude. Wait, does it cost hearts to cast magic? I thought the blue bar was my magic. It is my magic. Alright. It's just really hard to cast that spell. Also, that bat had blood, but it didn't give me any health. What the hell does Dark Metamorphosis work on? I need a game guide to play this game. Got my salt back. Dark Metamorphosis. Dark Metamorphosis. Oh, you have to—you have to physically like touch the blood that comes out of them. Jesus. Nope. Why did it get quiet? Don't be a boss. That's like, that's like a. Uh... Why is the last save spot so far back? Alright, you know what? There are other places we can explore before we go up here and torture ourselves. So, here's what I'm gonna do. Because I'm not fighting Griffin or whatever the fuck is over there. Thanks, Yu-Gi-Oh. Too bad that's a one-time use. Yeah, you can buy more. It's too bad. Uh, it, it would be cool, though, if there was a, a permanent version. 
Hold on, before I buy, let me uh, let me sell. How about this. <laughs> Thank you. How about this? Well, I could buy the reverse cloak. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you for taking all of my money, dude. All right, I'm going to do a quick BRB real quick because I got to use the bathroom, uh, but I'll be right back. If I can find my BRB screen. There it is. I am back. Also, we're level 14. Okay, so I warped back here just because I wanted to get out of that area I was in without walking all the way back. Uh, we're gonna head back to the starting area one more time. I know there was other blue doors I encountered, but I don't remember where they were. God damn it. Anyway, this game is fun. Oh, also, check out the color of my new cloak. It's a very appealing color. I just want to check something real quick. It says dual colored reversible cape, but here's the thing. Is it actually reversible? Because I get the feeling like I can't actually reverse it. God damn it. Just get me to a save room. Alright, we're good. We're good.
cloak can be reversed in the system menu. What an ability. So which do we like more? This or the other way? Alright, we can leave it like this. It leaves the, the duller color. Well, duller to my eyes. To on the outside, and the, the brighter color is is the more visible color now. Well, I like the blue. I like the blue, but... When... With it on the inside, you can see it even when you're standing still. I know it's basically just a palette swap, but it's cool that there are so many variants of Alucard's sprite. Alright, so Mist is... Mist is barring me from going that way. Now, I think somewhere in the game you can get the items that Alucard has before Death takes all his shit away. I... I think. I mean, we'll have to play and find out. But that... the gear you start with is... is extremely powerful. Got a tart. I think I got it out of a candle. Not quite sure how that works. Or, or, or a monster dropped it, but I'm not quite sure how that works. Blue door. What did I just do? Did I, wait, did I open that thing up that was back here? It didn't, uh, didn't tell me what that button did. Yep, we opened this up. 
We open up an, uh, oh. Library card. Attack potion. Uh, okay. And that's just another one-time use library card, isn't it? Yep, alright. Well. For a free refill, I guess. However, that should have opened this up over here, too. Maybe, hopefully. Thoughts and prayers. Yep. Alright, this is the next spot we'll explore. I feel like this is a safer area than the, the tower I was in. Like 10, 20 minutes ago. Underground caverns. Okay, what was that? Oh, it was one of these guys attacking up. Hold on, dude. I'm trying to... Jesus. You guys sure not to treat guests. If only I could use those stairs in the background. Close, but not not high enough. Well, this has been a good time so far. I don't know exactly uh, how long this game is. I can't imagine it's too much longer than 20 hours. Somewhere right around there. Okay, uh, save spot. Encountered right after another save spot. Right after a long drop. Welcome to the Crystal Caverns. Welcome to the boss room. Sila worm. Wit worm. I'm sorry, all I have is salt. I don't like how this thing looks, and it's like its skin is deteriorating as we're killing it. You see that? Okay, that was not much of a boss battle. Boss 2 was harder than that guy. Watch out, Alucard's allergic to water. where the music went.
shield is useless. <laughs> it really is. I almost dodged them. I dodged a good chunk of them. Jesus. Please. how we do it around here. Crystal cloak. It's gonna be better than our current cloak. Oh, god damn it. Well, say goodbye to the uh, really nice looking cloak. Say hello to the invisible cloak. I'm sorry, what's so special about this cloak? Enchanted semi-invisible cape. Great. Well, I'm going to wear it because it, you know, has good stat boost, but I'm I wish it looked as nice as my previous cloak. You know, we have already... I feel like we've already made some decent progress. This is already going better than I feared it might. Toadstool. Lu Luigi, trust the fungus. Poisonous mushroom. Uh, Mario, don't trust the fungus, it's poisonous. Shiitake mushroom. Japanese mushroom. Uh, yeah. What did I just do? I flooded that- those- those, those guys are gonna drown! I murdered them. Toad? 
Hey, you can't arrest a guy just for singing. For anti-Koopa songs, we can. Remember, kids, don't go against the establishment. That was my takeaway from the Mario movie. Frogs bleed. They do. They do. Dark Metamorphite. They bleed in the opposite direction of where I kill them, though. Can I get that? Not without dying, I can't. Do you bleed? Sorry, hold on. Do you bleed? Alucard should just get himself a girlfriend. Free infinite health once a month. One week out of the month. Don't trust the ice. Because I wasn't on the marketing team. And we have looped our way back to the beginning area again. Life max up. There's still more exploring to do down there though, so we're going to. But we unlocked- we unlocked a shortcut. So, what do we think of the game so far? Uh, those of us who haven't seen it or played it before. Welcome aboard, O oh Prince. Shall I guide thee across the river? Solid, huh? Quite the setup you got here, dude. Jesus. I swear there's an Easter egg here, but I guess maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. I thought you could get the guy to give you a pot roast somehow. Give me some chicken. Alright, whatever, dude. Merman statue. And what does that do? Summons the Oarsman. Wow.
Okay, guys, uh, if you can hear me, the stream just disconnected for a second there, completely. Not just a bitrate die, but um, a full disconnect. Refresh, if you feel like there's any latency issues. If you missed it, all I did was go left. There was a single room where I found a merman statue. And all the merman statue does is summon the oarsman to you. That's all it says. Summons the oarsman. How did I already get on the oarsman's boat? Without that? It, it'll forever be a mystery. Give me chicken. Alright, well that's the end of that. There's one more spot over here. Let's go check this real quick. Might be something I can't get to yet, but we're gonna find out. coming back for, worth taking a bit of damage for. At some point I must get the ability to explore the water, because there was a bunch of stuff under where the oarsman was. All right, well, here we are back back here. There is, according to my map, a room up here we haven't explored. I don't know if I can get to it. Doesn't look like I can get to it from here. gonna go next on our whimsical adventure I know where guy bleeds.
Uh, all right. So there's a little hall just up and right of us that I don't think I can get to yet. I might be able to get to it from the top. That might be another blue door. And then to the right of that area is a whole area that I explored some of and then died earlier. So we're going to check that out. Those are the next two places we're going to go. Now, this basic map, as nice as, as it is, it does not reveal the entire castle to us. There's still plenty of uh, undiscovered territory. But yeah, I, um, I was I was thinking about what game I could do on RPG Monday, and I knew if I didn't think of anything good, I would just do Persona Five. But then I recalled this, and I was like, this is this would be perfect. Yeah, it 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 fits as a technicality, but it also fits in the sense that it, while light, it is. It does have RPG mechanics. It doesn't have a turn-based battle system, but it's got leveling up. It's got equipment with stats. Um, you know, it's as much of an RPG as Zelda 2 is. A actually, it's more of an RPG than Zelda 2. But I, you can't, you can't play this uh, and expect to win just just by being high enough level. And that was that was that that's the part of it that is un RPG like I guess is that it still requires the skill to play a Castlevania game. of which I have very little. I think I'm starting to see why this is considered not that hard, but at the same time, I I can't help but think about what some of the later areas that I've been to when I when I first attempted to play this. And I just don't see those areas being any easier this time around. Alright, this connects to... yep. Turns out there was no nothing blocking me from going this way. I just didn't go this way. S this is a slow elevator compared to that other one. Sunglasses. Cool looking sunglasses. They drop my intelligence. They sure are cool. I'm sorry, but I'm putting my leather hat back on. And then this connects back down to the lower room. I should be able to use this elevator to go back up, though. I, I you know, I'm glad uh, Dracula had this cannon placed here, so that it can serve the purpose and its only purpose of blowing up the wall that was placed here.
you know, the up animation with the inv with the see-through cloak makes Alucard partially see-through. a safe spot that I somehow missed. Hold on, I'm cracking open a cold one. And by that I mean the refreshing taste of a monster, TM. Next area we're checking out is just up ahead. After this, it looks like we're probably gonna have to start heading up. I also gotta save up my money so we can buy good shit from the uh, librarian. Gravity has no effect on that axe. Gavia? I don't know, what is Gavia? Where'd you see the word Gavia? By the way, the cursed table, the possessed table, is a Ouija table. I thought it was G A. Or is that a lower tier? I'm sorry, my knowledge of Final Fantasy mages <laughs> comes from Donald Duck.
I just don't remember the the s suffixes. I guess I remember Blizzaga, Fireaga, stuff like that. I don't remember Ja. Would you like me to tell you about the different, uh, persona magic names? Let's see, for Wind, we've got Garu, or Zan, depending on which game you're playing. The prefix of Meh means that it affects everybody. Whereas the suffix of... For Garu, it would be Garula, so La means it does more damage. So you have Garu, then you have Megaru. Then you have Garula. And then you have Megarula. And that's just wind. And I've also forgotten the top tier for, for suffix for, for Garu. Alright, don't fucking Cthulhu Cthulhu misspelled Cthulhu? And we find ourselves back at the beginning. It's okay though, I now have my I have my damage numbers back. And we've very thoroughly explored that area. What was your message, Evil? Better late than never. It's context sensitive. Let's see about continuing to go up from here. If I can. Hmm. 
Okay, so we can go up here. Let's go explore this area then. Clock tower. Shit. We just stepped into a horror game. Skull Lord? Is he though? Holy shit, listen to that music. This is a legitimate, this is a certified banger. Honest to God banger right here. And unfortunately, I don't think I possess the abilities to explore this area any further. Well, maybe I do. Maybe I do if I can learn how to use the dog. so hard to get him to run. What the fuck was that? Alright, whatever. Bye, I guess. It would appear that was the extent of his jump. Alucard has a stomach of steel. I mean, considering he's a vampire, understandably, I suppose. We get to walk down this hallway again. I'm running out of options. Soon I'm gonna have to go fight that bird. At least I'm starting to feel a little stronger. We're level 15. We're getting close to level 16. Sorry, Sky. Her assets are merely an illusion.
machinations of the devil designed to steal the souls of men. Also, I... I hope it was obvious that statement was a joke. I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> Heart max up. Bandana. Protects sensitive head parts. Well, it increases intelligence and it doesn't lower any of my other stats. Keep that cranium intact. Alright, say hello to Staircase World. That's what this would be called if we were playing Silent Hill 4. And we dropped out again. Is Twitch just having issues? Hello, if you can hear me. Uh, we lost connection again. I'm not sure if this is OBS being a pain in the ass. If it's just Twitch having problems tonight, or if it's um, my internet, but I don't think it's my internet because I haven't lost, I have not lost the ability to use Google. The stream, the stream dropped uh, for the second time tonight. And I'm not sure exactly what the culprit is because my internet is fine. In fact, it's for the first time in forever, it says I've dropped zero frames. I'm going to say it's either OBS, my, my streaming software, not playing nice today. Or uh, it's just Twitch. I suspect it may just be Twitch, because whenever it happens, I get reconnected almost almost immediately. <laughs> ah, 
I'm gonna blame Twitch. And if the problem does lie with OBS, I imagine it'll be fixed before too long. Man, I'd love to be able to get those items down there. Infinite health achieved. Alright, that better have been worth it. style pizza. What the fuck do you mean New York style pizza? Why did I get it from a frog? Why is this in Castlevania? Why did I just get a goddamn joke item? Turtles, reptiles. I guess our current option is up and left and back up the towers and time to fight the bird again. Well, again, time to fight the bird. I looked at it last time.
How much money do I have? I'm back up to three grand. Not bad. There is a sword that he has for sale that I think might be worth buying. But at the same time, I'll buy it, it'll be really good, and then I'll find a new sword minutes later that's even better. I hit him that one time. I'm not going to be able to recreate this. God damn it. And I got myself poisoned. But do I have an antidote? No. <laughs> Good. Let's go to a save room then. Poison doesn't... Does it drain your health? I can't tell if it drains your health or not, but it it weakens you extremely. What an interesting take on being poisoned. Wait, I'm still weak. Why am I still weak? Did I accidentally unequip my weapon that I was using? Well, whatever. I, 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 if, if not, I had a better weapon regardless. Sorry, I'm just going through my inventory, making sure I, uh, don't have any, like, really good items sitting around that I'm just not using. Don't touch me. I thought about taking the holy water, but I'm I'm going to stick with the axe. All right, here we are back in this area. <laughs> Guys, hold on. I think I accidentally <laughs> left my fridge door open a little bit. I'll be right back.
Yep. My fridge door was ever so slightly ajar. Is there a draft? Nope. I looked over because it's dark in Maine and saw light coming out of, like, a little bit of light pouring out of my kitchen. Zool? Is that the, the fridge ghost? Yeah. Ghostbusters, sort of. I'm all set with watching Ghostbusters, I'm sorry. I know that there are people here who like Ghostbusters, but... I'll put it this way. I appreciate Ghostbusters. It's not a movie I really want to rewatch. God, I definitely didn't cheese it at all. Yes, yes, I, I saw Ghostbusters once. And only the first one. And while the movie was enjoyable, I, it, I, it just, it just didn't do it for me. I just, I was good with that single viewing. Well, we just we just dipped our toes into uh, a new area. We were, we were literally gated from entering it any further. This statue has a cock, or something that resembles one. And there's a little golden man down there stopping me from pushing it. Damn crows. Any other day I'd love you, but today you're getting in my way.
Yeah, I bet I can go through this room. Please. God damn it. Every flying enemy ever. Those are those crows from, from, uh, Rondo of Blood that I hated so much. People are not going to know what time of day it is. mushroom. Hopefully it heals me. Hippogriff. It just shit out some eggs. all these bosses being way easier than the first couple. doing well for yourself and you didn't come here to flatter me true do you know the name Richter Belmont Belmont of course why he disappeared about a year ago I'm sure he's here now if you see him please let me know as you wish my lady hmm a gentleman after all thank you I like how they both had different Belmonts in them he was thinking of Richter, he thought of Trevor.
Maybe there's a save room over here. Thank God. My sixth sense activated. Okay, well, so far so good. We've made our way around a good chunk of the map. We made it to the area where Resident Evil music plays. No, it's not. It's just that that opening sounded very much like the Resident Evil Mansion ambience. We're in the Castle Keep. And we found a new fast travel location. Okay, these statues straight up have dicks on them. That wasn't just my imagination. That is incredible to see in a PS1 game. Before we started going around as humans and welding leaves over their dicks, ruining centuries-old art. No rest for the wicked. Trifing. Tierfing. Here's what I know about a lot of those statues, by the way. They're giant Johnsons, quote-unquote. Yeah, they were giant at the scale that we were looking at them. They weren't all that giant. Cursed Dark Sword does no damage. I'm not equipping it. I'm not equipping it. Something special needs to be done with that before I can use it. Get away from me, flea man. God damn it. It's fine. We were gonna end up coming down here anyway. Oh, no, it's... I, I read it. I read it that way. Leapstone. Yo. Now we can access all kinds of new areas. That is a big part of the enjoyment of a game like this. Whenever you find a new ability and it's like, shit, time to go back. So long as you don't mind backtracking. And, perfectly, they gave us a fast travel spot to do just that.
All right, where do we start? Um, well, <laughs> are you are you thinking of the avatar game that I streamed on the Wii? That makes you play every mission twice. <laughs> you forgot the pack of cigarettes. Trying to recall. See, here's the here's the problem. Now I have to try and recall some areas where I needed double jumping. I'm putting my best bet at this way. Here's Cthulhu. Blaspheme in this house of God. Got him. We are probably going to save this soon, but I am... I'm enjoying this quite a lot. Alright, I think there was a couple of spots here where I couldn't quite jump high enough. Same time next week. Yeah, this will return Monday. Next Monday. I'm counting this as the RPG Monday game for this month. Hopefully I can finish this game in four Mondays. I mean, if not, I can always squeeze in some extra time for it. I do know the game isn't super long. I guess it depends on if I get actually get stuck or not.
All right, I think the next area I need to go to is that area just up and right of us a little bit. Uh, with the, uh, there's a room above it that I wasn't able to access before. I think that's the clock room. Yep, it is. This is the clock room, like... Now, I think you just kind of wait around long enough and these statues up here will move. I could be wrong about that. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna wait here for a moment. I, I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. We're gonna listen to a song that's been stuck in my head while we wait. Yo. I guess, I guess we won't be listening to that song. That was quick. I mean, relatively, yes. Oh, now that's, that's some music. Onyx broadsword. That broadsword's gonna be two handed, isn't it? Simple mercenary sword. It's not, it's single handed, but it does less damage than my cutlass. God damn it. Wait, throwing speed. Oh, it's a one time use item. I was gonna say, Jesus, 55 damage? I think I could technically equip, if I really wanted to, I could equip this broadsword in my, I didn't mean to do that, in my uh, offhand. But actually, you know what, wait, what happens if I do this? What happens if I do this? Dual cutlass. I'm, I'm a dual wielding build now. No, it, I was hoping maybe it would make it so I could swing faster. It does not. Uh-huh. Yep, when your main arm gets tired. Switch hands. That line of dialogue can be used for a different, very, a very different action and hold about as much weight in usefulness. Yeah. 
Oh, if only I could suck up my own blood. Dude. You suck. Jesus. And another quick, uh, fast travel spot. Well, you know what, I'm gonna use it. And save, and then we're gonna... Get back to that area. I think I'll play this until about 8. I'll really feel strong when I start killing these guys in one hit. Unfortunately, you can't pick a destination. It just cycles you through them. Did evil leave? I thought he was just talking about Alucard. Coliseum. The Coliseum awaits. Yeah, come and get me. Ah, oh, my salt dries up quickly. Or whatever you'd say for salt. Okay, I'm digging the music here, too. All in all, this game has an excellent soundtrack. It's great that it's done entirely with MIDI, too. cloak. Converts damage to hearts. Uh, I'm all set. I'm not that desperate for hearts. Yeah. 
Unless it means instead of taking damage, you lose hearts. That could be kind of interesting. Big boner. Big boner. Alright, let's... we'll try it out. That is... that is a blood red. Ghost Sword Dude is a chick. But, yes. Alright, hit me. It does. It just it just gives you hearts when you take damage. I'm sorry, but I'm all set. It would be useful if I relied on hearts more than I do. I'm glad Dracula has an entire Colosseum within his castle. I feel like Dracula doesn't do a whole lot for fun these days, though. He's just, like, obsessed with making humanity pay. What is a man, really? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? Oh, this room's cursed. No, oh, they kicked me out of it. Now all the monsters are back. And now I'm dead. What the fuck killed me? It's okay, I just saved. It's not like it's that big of a deal. Game over. When do I get a familiar, by the way? Because there's this menu here that says familiars, and it's the only one I can't access yet. Also, spells, I have one whole spell. Get me in there. Get me in there. Make these guys go away. What's in here? Shield rod. This better be a damn good item. Alright, what's the shield rod do? Extra effective with shield. Okay. That's not bad, actually. Like, with a shield equipped, that does more damage than any of my other weapons. And I have had a shield equipped the entire game, so... Alright. It was worth it.
Now Alucard's gonna go around beating enemies to death with his rod. There was a secret chord David played and it pleased the Lord. Remember that. By the way, um, there's an animation that plays for these owl guys if you kill their owl first, and it's really sad. loops around there. Gravekeeper. Why is why does the gravekeeper know Taekwondo? Here, I'm going to show this off. Look at that. He just gives up. They didn't have to they didn't have to program that into the game. Humanizes the enemies, and god damn it, I don't want to feel for them. Or something. I, not only. Okay, so I was. I stated that this enemy was a girl because of their hair and figure. But it also says hunting girl in the bottom right corner of my screen. I knew the proof was there somewhere. to get in there. Uh, okay. Well, it looks like we've explored a good chunk of the Colosseum here, and I haven't really found anything too worthwhile. Got some funny rings that don't do anything. And I got a cool, I got a cool rod. Maybe, actually, you know what, let's approach from the other side. We might be able to do that.
or not. Oh, yeah, 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 we can. And a free library card. And a boss battle. Let's save and come back. At least they let you walk out of boss rooms. <laughs> Unlike Mega Man. Yeah, but in Mega Man they're announced. Like, you, you recognize the door. But once you're in, you're in. Like Flynn. <laughs> Who are you? Servants, come forth from the gates of hell! Richter. Your blood. The scent of your blood. You're a Belmont! Attack. Rid my castle of this pest! Your castle? Ow. Hurya! Sorry, I I beat your dudes. A Belmont for certain. So he says he's the lord of this castle. Guys, what happened to Richter? Whoa! Oh, that no. You motherfuckers. What did I get? I didn't get anything yet because I fell down. Right? Shit. It's okay. We'll just loop around again. If I can. Yep. I could have gotten that if I hadn't fallen down. If it weren't for you meddling kids. It's funny, this, the music that plays in the Coliseum area here does not make me think of a Coliseum. But I love this, the track enough that I don't, I don't care. Like, I would listen to this while I'm out on the town. Where'd the elevator go? Are you telling me if I waited down there, the elevator would have come and picked me up? Wait, 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 wait. So you, you can turn to mist, but you can't, like, move around. 
or you can face through bars. Okay. All right. Well, we got the mist form. Uh, there was an area all the way to our right that I recall we could access if we could go into mist. Oh. Might as well check it out. Yeah, yeah, that's the impression I get, too. Oh, please. Why? why? Leave me alone. I just want to get to the fast travel. So we can turn into um, a wolf and we can turn into mist. I like that we're getting like classic vampire abilities. All right, let's let's check this out. It's funny, I have 112 health and I feel like my health is low. Even though when we started the game, having 100 health was having a lot. It's so nice to just walk up to enemies and one-hit them. and Jewel Knuckles. Polished to resist stoning. Yeah. That's great and all, but it lowers my defense. I guess if I encounter a boss or something that uses stone a lot, it would be worth wearing. What else did I pick up? Jewel Reinforced Knuckles. Okay, I mean, they do one damage less than my rod, so I guess if I wanted to take my shield off, they'd be worth it. But, 
I'm I'm fine with having my shield on at the moment. Okay, I'm glad I came came all this way for two items that I'm not presently worried about using. All for the sake of completion. Kind of. Um... If I knew what they were ahead of time, I wouldn't have gone and got them. I'll put it that way. Where else could I check now that I have missed? See, now we have... We've explored so many areas. I'm starting to forget... <laughs> what was where. It was already hard enough to remember. Um... We're gonna head left. We're gonna head left, and there's a couple of areas I'm gonna check. Which means we get to go this through this hallway again. Yeah, no, 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 no. I guess I should put on that, that... I guess I could put on that Curious, huh? Oh, okay. So now instead of getting stoned, I just take one damage. You know what? Sorry, but I'm not doing it. However, there is a good chance it will come in handy for a boss battle or something. I don't know. Well, maybe if... Maybe if this game has a Medusa boss. Something like that. Here, I want to go down this way. There's a door down into the right that I haven't been through. And it, I don't know if it's because I couldn't get to it or if it was just unopenable. That's why we're going to double check. Now I was able to jump up there. That's why I couldn't get to it. I don't think I'll be able to get to it anytime soon. Alright, well, we're down here now. There's a few areas here I might as well recheck. 
I have since obtained double jump. And the power to one hit frogs. Is this a good idea or a terrible idea? <laughs> We're about to find out. It's a terrible idea. But guess what? I just saved and I'm not worried about it. What do we need to survive down here? What does a, a, a vampire use to survive water? I need to know. That was our first death in a while. Being undead. Vampires are are undead. Oh, I tried really hard, but we're not getting there. In in the in the lore of Castlevania, running water hurts vampires. understand it. They can take baths in still water. But if they fell into the ocean, they're fucked. This isn't the only series where I've uh, heard that. In Legacy of Cain, vampires cannot access water. And in Legacy of Cain, it, it's even so much as rain is enough to hurt them. describes it as water is acidic to the touch. Something appeared by the wooden bridge. Okay. Well, we found one new thing here. So far, that's made it worth it. Also, that was, I got some kind of shield there. Herald shield. Shield with heart crest. Even better than the one I've been using. The voice work in the Legacy of Kane series, by the way, is, is top-notch shit. Shit, I, I need that guy. You know what? I want, let me show this off real quick. It's it's another Kodelka. Yeah, I think it surpasses. I I mean, I could be wrong. I think as far as like drama and like theater is concerned, it surpasses Kodelka. Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver opening. 
I'll just show you. Yeah. Wow, excuse me. I'll just show you the opening cutscene. Real quick, this is a series I plan to stream someday. I don't know when I'll get around to it, but someday, TM. Cain is deified. The clans tell tales of him. Few know the truth. He was mortal once, as were we all. However, his contempt for humanity drove him to create me and my brethren. I am Razael, firstborn of his lieutenants. I stood with Cain and my brethren at the dawn of the Empire. I have served him a millennium. Over time, we became less human and more divine. Cain would enter the state of change and emerge with a new gift. Some years after the Master, our evolution would follow. Until I had the honor of surpassing my lord. the fate of traitors and weaklings to burn forever in the bowels of the lake of the dead. Cast him in. <laughs> Tumbling, burning with white-hot fire, I plunged into the depths of the abyss. Unspeakable pain, relentless agony. Time ceased to exist. Only this torture and a deepening hatred of the hypocrisy that damned me to this hell. An eternity passed, and my torment receded, bringing me back from the precipice of madness. The descent had destroyed me, and yet, I lived. Um, that game released for the PS1 in 1999. <laughs> And I remember thinking that was one of the most, like, cinematic theatrical cutscenes I'd ever seen when I played that game as a kid. The, the delivery of our main character's narration helps.
Razael is a is a very cool protagonist. And very blue, yeah, because his body has decayed. Being immortal, he was unable to die in in the the uh water of the damned he was thrown into. But for an eternity it ate away at his flesh regardless. Abandoned pit to the catacomb. That's an intimidating name for an area. Raziel becomes a Soul Reaver, which uh, is basically, he still is vampiric, but instead of consuming blood, he consumes the souls of the living. Nah, I'm not gonna fight Cerberus right now. I'm gonna go find a save spot before I fight the Guardian of Hell. Yeah. Yeah, so the way the game works is when you kill an enemy, their soul will persist for a while. And you hold down a button, and you can draw it into you. Wait too long, and their soul can return to their body, bringing the enemy back to life. Jesus. You know, I... In my initial playthrough of this game, the one that I deleted the save for at the beginning of, of, of the stream, I don't think I ever found this area. Turns out Cerberus is allergic to N.A. Alright, just uh, for posterity's sake, I'm gonna go save. We are going to end this soon. I, I'm just, I'm having a good time. And I think we've just like stumbled our way into hell. As one does. Oh, uh, a Salem witch, huh? Okay. You mean like Salem, Massachusetts? I know this guy. I mean, the game calls him Gremlin, but that's, uh... 
That guy makes an appearance in Persona. Ukobak or whatever. Obtained demon card. Now I have the familiar system. Well, fucking equip him. Hey, dude, how's it going? What do you do? Oh, you know, he just... He just goes up to the enemy sometimes and stabs him with his stick. That's nice. We have officially obtained a familiar. Alright, well, I'm gonna fast travel back to a save spot. And I guess this is where we'll call it for tonight. But this this has been a good time. And the reason I'm going to call it here for tonight uh, is because we know where we're going to explore next. We're going to continue going down. That and it's almost 8 o'clock. Hey, all I'm saying is my family, half of my family came to Maine to get away from witch hunts. Which I think, you know, might not have worked out as well as they'd hoped. I had Satan worshipping practicing witches in my family tree. As my grandma so bluntly put it when I was a kid. I I, I am descendant of a family of Satan worshipping and magic using. So <laughs> you take that. Take that info as you will. I'm doing a schizo save because we're turning because we're turning the game off. Okay. All right. That is that is Castlevania for today. Uh it was good. It was fun. More of that uh next Monday. We will return uh, with Silent Hill 4 tomorrow. So. Until then, thanks for watching. Good night. Hope you had fun.